Jake, obviously very exciting news, contract extension out to 2022. Do you think that's a really good sign of the confidence you've got in the club for the few years to come? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it also works the other way, more so the confidence that they've got in me. Um, this is my fourth year at the club now and I'm 28, so I'm getting to that, that, age, that age bracket where I'm a little bit older and for them to um, yeah, show a bit more faith and, and give me another three year extension is um, yeah, really exciting for both parties. Certainly an exciting time to be around the club. It's been a massive year in 2018. How confident are you that the next few years can be something special? Yeah, I'm super confident. Um, obviously last year, uh, coming from where we came from the year previously when we didn't make finals to um, making our way to a prelim, and although we didn't perform it the way we wanted to, um, I feel like that we've learned a lot of lessons from the season and from that game in particular to hopefully take it to the next level this year. Yeah, that game was an interesting one. Obviously we came into it with such confidence playing ruthless footy. Do you have any idea what sort of happened there? Um, oh look, we just definitely didn't execute um, our game plan to the way that we wanted and um, once the game got away from us a little bit there, I think we lost our way. Um, and it can be quite an intimidating place to go to over in Perth and, and beat them there. So we'll learn a lot from that as a young group and um, hopefully we can implement that this year. A lot of people sort of think that could be scarring and loss like that. Do you think there's more just a really good learning curve and a great experience for the group? Yeah, I think that um, any sort of experience these days, it's nothing's um, scarring, I don't think. I, I look back at the season before when we missed out on finals um, by you know six, ten points, I think I think it was, and yeah, we weren't scarred by that at all. We went, we come out and improved and got better as the year went on, and and we managed to make a prelim, which I don't think anyone thought we would do. So we come out and improved, and, and hopefully we can do that again. And prior to that loss against the Eagles, obviously there were a couple of super exciting weeks for the club, beating Geelong and Hawthorne. What was it like being amongst the, the red and blue faithful and uh, yeah, enjoying those few weeks? Yeah, it was really good. Um, I think the last. <clears throat> probably four to six weeks of the home and away season we were building and then um, yeah to play those those two finals in, in uh, Melbourne at the MCG against Geelong and Hawthorne who were two really successful clubs and two big clubs that yeah have performed on those stages it was it was good to beat them and um, yeah the, the D's fans were up and about as well so it was it was a great time to be playing footy and, and to be a part of Melbourne. And personally, you kicked one of the most important goals of the season, arguably, against the Hawks. I guess all players want to stand up on the big stage. Is that something you look to do? Yeah, look, I do I do love playing I love playing finals. I haven't played in many, but I love playing big blockbuster games. You know, when we play Anzac Eve against Richmond, Hawthorns, all the big clubs, I love playing in front of big crowds. And um, yeah, you just try and put yourself in those positions to to do well in, in games and also do well late in games and, and try and trying to be best for the team. So um, yeah, I love I love trying to be around the footy in those stages of the game. It's been two years for you now that you've played for the Red and Blue. Do you really feel like it's home? Yeah, I do. I definitely do. Um, you certainly feel that way when you start to have um, little bits of success as a group. And um, although we haven't achieved what we wanted to, we, from the time that I got to the club to, to now, we've improved. Um, overall on the footy field, off the field, as a club, the facilities, everything that we've got, we've really grown and, and improved every year. So um, I think that's something that you definitely want to be a part of um, when you come to work every day as a group of people that are hungry and um, excited to do, do what they love and, and try and get better. So things are going well. And personally for you heading into this season, you've had a few hamstring issues. How are you sort of tracking fitness wise? Yeah, fitness is good. Um, I'll be back into the main group in the next week or so. Um, obviously not the ideal preparation uh, that I would like, but I've, I've been doing a lot of uh, running and, and um, fitness work uh, to try and get myself up to level. So once I get back into the main group, I'll have a probably five or six week period before round one to get ready. So I'm looking forward to getting out there with the boys. It's been a long pre-season.